Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up OpenVPN on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So we will start with the installation of OpenVPN. So for that, just open your favorite browser and search for OpenVPN. And the first link which will appear here will be openvpn.net. So I'm going to just click on this website. So once this website is open, you will be able to see different tabs on the top. We are going to download the community version of OpenVPN. So we need to hover over community tab and then we need to select the downloads uh, option here. Okay, so hover over community and click on downloads link here, which is going to redirect us to the community downloads uh, web page, right? So when you scroll down here, you will be able to see the installers for Windows also. So you have uh, the 64-bit MSI installer for Windows and 32-bit MSI installer for Windows. So we are going to download the 64-bit installer for Windows. So just select this option, which is in front of Windows 64-bit MSI installer. I'm going to just click on this button, which is going to start the download of this MSI file, right? So this file is not uh, very big, so it will be downloaded really fast. So once this uh, MSI file is downloaded, just click on this file and let me minimize my browser. And the installation is pretty straightforward. So once this uh, setup window starts, you just need to click on install now button, which is going to start the installation of uh, OpenVPN. In between, you will see this warning which says, uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I trust this app, so I'm going to click on yes here, which is going to start the installation. So at this point, I just need to wait for some time until this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. And once the installation of OpenVPN is finished, you will see this message which says OpenVPN installing completed, so I can close this window. Now I can see uh, this icon here, which is created on my desktop. Also, I will be able to search for OpenVPN in my apps uh, section, right? So I can just write OpenVPN here, and it's going to uh, show me this uh, result, which says OpenVPN GUI. I can also click on this uh, Windows uh, Start icon, and then in all apps, I will be able to find this OpenVPN under this O. So I can see this is the new uh, installation. Now immediately after the installation of OpenVPN, you will also see this uh, window which says no readable connection profile or config file found, right? Because we haven't imported any uh, OpenVPN file in our OpenVPN GUI. So for the first time when you install OpenVPN, it's going to show you this warning, which is normal also. Now the important message is this one. So you need to uh, note the path where you need to copy your config file. So it says copy your config files to this path or this path. Okay. So just note these two paths in future, you might need these two parts, right? So once you read this warning, just close this warning and you will be able to see this icon, which is for OpenVPN GUI, which will appear on your taskbar. If you don't see this OpenVPN GUI icon here, you can just click on this arrow and here also you will be able to see this OpenVPN GUI. Otherwise, if you don't see this OpenVPN GUI icon here, then you can click on the OpenVPN shortcut here and it's going to start OpenVPN and then it's going to show you this icon. So once this icon is visible, you can right click on this icon and you will see three options. So you need to right click on this icon and then you will see three options. One is import, second is uh, settings and third is uh, exit. We are going to select the import option and then click on import file. So it's going to allow you to import any OpenVPN file which you might have on your Windows 11 operating system. Now normally, if you are using OpenVPN to connect to your company server or something like this, your company will provide 
a open vpn file to you which you can use to, to connect to your company's vpn server so if you have that file which is provided by your company or from your friend you can use that open vpn file to connect to the vpn otherwise if you don't have any open vpn uh, file and you want to test open vpn then there are many website which provides free uh, services for the vpn and from there you can download the open vpn file and uh, use it to connect to your open vpn gui so let me show you how you can uh, connect to open vpn using a free uh, open vpn service which is called vpn book so you can just open your favorite browser and search for vpn book and the first link which will appear here will be from vpnbook.com so i'm going to click on this link and here i can see a few tabs i'm going to click on the free vpn tab here and once uh, this free vpn uh, uh, window opens you will be able to see three sections here right so the first section is free pptp vpn which we don't want we want the free open vpn right so this middle one and from here you can download the vpn uh, uh, bundle files for different regions so you don't have many options here but for testing you can uh, uh, select any of uh, these uh, bundles right so i'm going to select this us1 open vpn certificate bundle from here which is going to download this zip file so i'm going to just uh, click on the zip file and i can extract this zip file anywhere on my windows operating system so for extracting this i have uh, this option which says extract all or i can right click here and then click on extract all option and then i can extract it uh, on my desired location so let me extract it in the downloads folder itself so i'm going to just click on extract so once you have extracted all these files you just need to copy the path of this folder so you can just uh, copy it like this and then let me minimize all these windows from here and then uh, once again right click on uh, the open vpn icon and then click on uh, import and then click on import file and then just uh, paste the path which you have copied and you will see uh, these four files here so i'm going to uh, select the top one which is vpn book us1 tcp80.ovpn okay so this one and then click on okay and once you click on okay you can see the message here file imported successfully so once this file is imported successfully i can right click once again on the open vpn and this time i will be able to see more options here right because i have imported this open vpn file so i can see more options here so i need to connect to a vpn server right so i can just click on uh, this connect option which is going to try to connect to the vpn server uh, which we have provided so here i can see vpn book us tcp 80 now username and password so from where you can get these username and password so when you go to this website and when you scroll down so we have downloaded this for bundle and when you scroll down you will be able to see username and password here okay so i'm going to provide the username and password so the username is uh, vpn book which is simple and i'm going to provide password also so this is the password you can't copy it so you need to uh, enter it manually and once you are done click on ok and once you click on ok your open vpn server will try to connect to the vpn book vpn server and uh, if everything is working uh, correctly you will be able to see this disconnect and reconnect button here right so you can see open vpn connection and then vpn us tcp80 is working right now so once the connection is established you will also see when you right click on this open vpn icon you will be able to see disconnect button reconnect button show status button so when you click on show status it will open the same window and then you also have uh, other options like view config edit config 
and clear saved password option. So this is how you can install and use and set up OpenVPN GUI on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.